10 Most Dangerous Places in the World The world is a great place, but it's also ripe with dangerous spots that have caused many deaths across the years. Welcome to the Majestic, and today we'll be presenting you with the 10 most dangerous places in the world. Stay until the end of our video to learn which place in this world that's so dangerous it even caused the most tourist deaths, and also subscribe to the Majestic for more great videos like this one. Without further ado, let's begin. Tenth place, Cliffs of Mohair. The Cliffs of Mohair in Ireland are one of the most beautiful and also dangerous places in Ireland. This is because there are very strong, unpredictable winds, rains, and steep paths that become three times more dangerous when wet. When visiting the Cliffs of Mohair, it's highly advised that you follow the official path. Trailing off of the path and getting near the edge of the cliffs can be very dangerous. You might think that you're walking on grass, but when the cliffs erode, they erode from the bottom up. The patch of grass that you think is safe to stand on might not be supported by land underneath it. There have been cases of people swept to their deaths in these cliffs, and even chunks of the cliffs have fallen into the ocean out of nowhere. Proceed with caution when coming here. 9th Place – Running of the Bulls Pamplona Located in Pamplona, this one's not precisely a location and actually a specific event. The Running of the Bulls is a Spanish festival that has been done since 1910 causing at least 16 deaths by fatal goring by the bulls since its creation. Injuries by goring or being trampled by other runners are more likely than getting gored by the bulls. It's held during the nine-day festival of San Fermines in honor of Saint Fermin. And though it's also celebrated on other parts of the world, it's the one in Pamplona that has earned the bad rap. Eighth place, Praia de Boa Vaya Gym. Next up, we have Praia de Boa Vaya Gym, located in Brazil. Praia de Boa Vaya Gym is yet another beach located in Brazil's beautiful coasts, but has recently earned quite an infamous reputation due to all of the shark attacks that have been documented here. There were 56 shark attacks documented at Praia de Boa Vaya Gym between 1992 and 2012. And though that might sound small, one-third of the attacks ended in a fatality. You can definitely have a lot of fun basking in the sun, and maybe reading a book, but if you go for a swim, be careful of getting one of your legs chomped off by a shark. 7th Place – Mount Everest Mount Everest is a famous destination, meant only for the best of hikers, though that doesn't mean it's not extremely dangerous on top of that. It's the tallest mountain in the world and attracts around 1,200 climbers every year, of which only about half ever reach the summit, and quite a few die trying. Causes of death on Everest include everything from sub-freezing temperatures and the high altitude to falls and other health problems. Also, freezing to death here is not really fun, considering that no one will come and pick your body up and risk freezing themselves. 6th Place – Danik Hill Desert Visiting any kind of desert can be quite a questionable move for a tourist, let alone what is the most dangerous and inhospitable place in the world. On top of its bizarre look, the Danakil Desert also has numerous active volcanoes and geysers that spew toxic gases. Don't try swimming here either. The lake is acid and will probably tear your skin off the moment you step on it. At least you can look at the flamingos basking in the sun here. So what do you think of our video so far? Will you be visiting any of these soon? Let us know in the comments. 5th Place – Half Dome Located in Yosemite National Park, California, Half Dome comes in fifth in our list due to all the unlucky events that have transpired to hikers. The 5,000-foot climb to the top of Half Dome is the most strenuous of Yosemite Valley's day hikes, and it's the last 400 feet that are the most dangerous. It's a near-vertical climb, and while there are ladder-like metal cables to help you reach the summit, without proper rock climbing equipment, falling off them would spell instant death for you. And let's not forget that Half Dome is basically a huge lightning rod, and in 1985, lightning struck five friends on the park's tallest granite peak, killing two and injuring three. If you want to taste the true power of lightning, though, feel free to climb up to the Half Dome. Fourth Place – Death Valley You know a place is really deadly when it literally has the word death in its name. The Death Valley is infamous due to the mysterious vanishings and sudden deaths that tend to happen here. It's located between Nevada and California, covering around 3,000 square miles, and rain here is almost impossible to sight. 
On top of that, Death Valley holds the record for the highest temperature ever recorded on our planet, causing many to die, either from dehydration or heat stroke. Despite this, Death Valley is one of the most beautiful places in California, thanks to its exotic geography, flora, fauna, and is some people's favorite for camping. Spring is the best time to visit Death Valley, as besides warm and sunny days, the possibility of spring wildflowers is a big attraction. If the previous winter brought rain, the desert can put on an impressive floral display. Now that we have arrived to our top three, stay until the end to find out which one's the most dangerous tourist destination ever. You'll be shocked to learn which one's on the first place. Third place, Skellig Michael. Next up in our list we have Skellig Michael, one of the most impressive twin pinnacled crags in the world. Located west of the Ivorah Peninsula in County Kerry, Ireland, Skellig Michael consists of approximately 54 acres of rock, with its highest point, known as the Spit, 714 feet above sea level. The island is defined by its twin peaks, an intervening valley known as Christ Saddle, which makes its landscape steep and inhospitable. It is best known for its Gaelic monastery, founded between the 6th and 8th centuries, and its variety of inhabiting species, which include gannets, puffins, a colony of razorbills, and a population of approximately 50 grey seals. You will also find that the 600 ancient steps up the side of the mountain have absolutely no safety features whatsoever. There's also no food or water, visitor centers, toilets, or shelter. You also have to take an hour-long boat ride across potentially rough waters just to get there, and oftentimes boats cannot even dock because of high waves and choppy water. The area is prone to falling rocks, and the stone stairs, which are more than 1,000 years old, are rough and uneven. So yes, while beautiful and diverse, this place is also very dangerous and should be preceded with caution. Second place, Hawaii Volcano Tours. Do we need to explain why the Hawaii Volcano Tours are dangerous? While Hawaii is an amazing, gorgeous, and lush paradise for some, many people forget that all of the islands are also home to active volcanoes, such as the Kilauea, and also extinct ones like the Diamond Head. The volcanoes typically erupt at a calm pace, and visitors can either view the lava flow from a distance or up close and personal. It's an exciting opportunity to witness one of the world's most unique natural forms in action. A number of the deaths are attributed to the presence of lava haze, which is a mix of hydrochloric acid, hydrogen sulfide, and carbon dioxide. Other dangers that might happen upon you while visiting the tours include scalding ocean water and flying rocks that are completely capable of killing someone. The prize for this is being able to visit one of nature's most primal places, a site that you won't be able to find anywhere else in the world. First place, Death Road, Bolivia. Similar to Death Valley, Death Road is another location that doesn't seem really tourist friendly if we base ourselves on its name. Death Road is a 43 mile long stretch of winding road through the Cordillera Oriental mountain chain. The road was constructed in the 1930s by Paraguayan prisoners during the Chaco War, according to La Paz Life. Why is it dangerous? Well, Death Road is extremely narrow, and a misstep would probably lead to instant death due to its height, leaving absolutely no room for mistakes when traversing this road. Death Road is the most dangerous tourist destination because it claims around 250 lives per year. One wrong move here and your vehicle will drop to the massive cliffside and also to your death. So what do you think of these extremely dangerous tourist destinations? Will you be visiting any of these anytime soon? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on for more incredible videos like this one. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.